Hey folks, it's IOE Thermo back with some more World of Tanks. As you can see, this is a tier 8 game on mines. We have Mayo SVK driving the T341. Welcome back. It's been a while since you've last been on the channel, sir. He's in the tier 7 T341. Um, so this is obviously a tier 7 tank. Interior game, meaning he's gonna have to play a little bit more defensive than you know some of these t these tier eight guys. You can just go all out. Though I mean, if, if they're just gonna sit in the open, uh, oh, never mind. We're gonna get blocked completely by blocked. This thing has no gun depression, so he's gonna have to be careful where and when he uses his pokes. Or he's just going to be able to walk up a hill, apparently. Did you just... Oh, for a second I thought he took out his gun. And, uh, and the enemy wouldn't be able to fire. No. Go for the ram kill. Oh. He got 11 ramming damage. And thus couldn't take out... Uh, the light tank before it died. That's unfortunate. That's the kind of thing you'd like to do, but not always can do. Nice job using the bush mechanics to fire through the bushes. Meaning that the enemy doesn't know he's here. I thought for a sec he was going to get spotted there. I, th I thought he pushed too far forward before he fired, but I don't think so. Um, I, no, he might be lit now. Or the TVP is getting lit and they're just firing at the TVP and connecting with him. So it kind of feels like we're lit, right? <laughs> um, if we are, it's uh, quite possible to be proxified by that comment. Black Prince is taking shots, but. So apparently we do not have six cents, so we're not going to know when we're at I mean, if these guys are just going to sit here and let us farm them, then we're just going to sit here and farm them, right? Why not? <laughs> yep, apparently this is what's going to happen. Cool! <laughs> Farming big dumb heavy tanks. <laughs> There's not much I can say about this. But it is a great tactic, and I mean, if the enemy is going to let you do it, then obviously you should be doing this. Um, I mean, I wish there was a, a total somewhere of how much damage he did to that KV-3, but I'm sure he did <laughs> like over a thousand damage to that, just that KV-3, just because of the fact that it just sat there and let him continue to do it. Like, why not, right? Now it looks like he's going for the T-44, who is yep, just sitting out in the open. Um, technically he's in cover, but he's not in cover from us. He's just in cover from everyone else on our team. Uh, and the T20, T20 is definitely not in cover. <laughs> uh, and they're just alternating who's getting shot. <laughs> they're not, like, backing up. They're not, like, making it hurt. Nope. They're both gonna get shot, apparently. <laughs> Great, like, <laughs> Uh, we can take out the T71 next, uh, which is probably a, a great idea. I don't know if, what. Um, nope, am I not going to take it? T71 is going to switch sides and look for the object and the 112 that are over here. Unfortunately, no gun depression. He's either going to have to get really far out there or just find an angle. Um, where he can do some damage. If he gets up on this side somewhere, uh, he can quite possibly use his sail to tilt his gun down. There we go. And then he takes it to Panther and manages to bounce the return shot from the 112 off of this turret. Look at that. This turret is nice and stable. Or nice and thick, sorry. And, um, I don't remember what I was going to say, but. <laughs> uh, it's hard to pen, is where I think I was going with that. Oh, unfortunately misses that shot. I don't know where that shot went, but obviously not 
uh, where he wanted it to. That should have been a free 200 damage on that T44 who just was determined to get himself shot. I don't see any other reason for him to be where he was and you know charging somebody in a defensive position is just dumb. Of course this TVP is then charging a T44 who's got you know got to cover the rocks and more health. Uh, T44 takes him down. We are gonna take the T44 down. What? But I mean, it's gonna cost us some health, I'm sure. Oh no! You had him dead to rights, um, and then they both misfire. Really? Really? What was that? You had him. You overran him with your that he was circling him, and um, he just kept going too fast, and his, his turret couldn't rotate that fast, and thus he lost track of the T44 and missed. And then after that, he had this amazingly well aimed shot that he just he took so long to aim, and then he flubbed that too and just took his tracks off. I mean. <laughs> Oh wow, good job. That was well played. Oh, that, that is not the 252. Um, that's what I thought was just about to shoot us, but obviously there's a guy way over there on the island who's in fact going to start trying to deal some damage. 112 is in behind all the houses. I don't know what he's going to what he's planning on doing from back there. But um Okay, well, sure. Object, well, I mean, if he's going to sit with his back to us, then we're going to track him. Ugh, oh, well. It was going to be a difficult shot, but unfortunately, I was uh, anticipating, you know, hitting something real and not, not just tracking him, but that's, that's not what happened. <laughs> Gotta save your teammates, though, if you want. I mean... At this point in time, it's going to be a color man if, well, okay, when he dies. Which is he? No! Oh! That! That was so close! Except now you're being capped out as good, sir. And if you go down there, you are just going to die. So he's trying to pick them off. They unfortunately know exactly where he is. Um, you need to be worrying about the cap. Because that guy is in the open. <laughs> and a couple good shells, and he's going to go down. And he's clearly looking the wrong way. Did you flub that shell underneath him? You know, we haven't seen any artillery in a while. But if you keep seeing the same spots, there it's going to find you. I'm glad he's over here. Okay, you cannot flub this next shell. Oh, he's in the same spot. No, no, he's uh, he's behind the bushes over here. Oh, come on. You can find him. He's in the same spot. Just, yep, fire. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. That's how this game is gonna end? Oh. <laughs> so what? The 112 had. So either the 112 advanced and was sitting right back here or what? I guess he could have been all the way at the back. There's no bushes you can get into back there, right? Oh man, that's, that's just unfortunate. There's little else you could do. I don't know how that first shell dropped and went underneath him. 
But if it hadn't, then you it would have, you know, obviously reset the counter. And this point in time, you could have turned around and killed the the um, this guy, and then it would have given you one more shot at the one twelve. It's just unfortunate the way that I worked out. Well done, though, sir. And let's jump over and see your battle results. That is an unfortunate way to get here. Second mark of excellence. But I guess it works. Ice tanker, bruiser, shellproof, fire for effect. He gets a bond for that. I mean, it's worth it. But, mm, it hurts, right? High caliber award. And yeah, he just farmed up this KV3 for over a thousand damage. Oh, wow. And he must have taken up the guy's tracks and probably his engine. Um... I mean, I can't believe he just sat there and let us farm him the way he did. <sighs> Almost 4,000 damage dealt. Sitting in the middle of the map, just farming enemies as they came up to the... This was well done. And, you know, on top of that, 1,600 damage blocked armor means you put your tank to really good use. The fact that you lived through this entire thing, even though the rest of your team got absolutely destroyed, was really well done. I mean, obviously, it would have been nicer if had you been running some premium time. But overall, I think this was worth it. Um, and I mean, you still came out with having made money, having made experience. And you have more experience than most people on the enemy team, like 9% of the enemy team. Um, so that is always worth it in my books. Thank you so much for saying this, Sam. Uh, Milo, or Mo, Moyo? I'm, I'm sorry, SVK? <laughs> I can get that part. Thank you so much for saying this, and don't hold my bad pronunciations against you, me, or something. My brain's fried. We're going to go with that, and uh, thank you all for watching. Have a great night. This is IOE throughout.